You're tired. Get some sleep. I'll see you first thing in the morning. No, we can't do it. Who are we kidding? It's impossible. It's true. You can't do the switch. Nobody can do the switch. It was a stupid idea to begin with. Let's face it. I'm stuck with the non-laugher, and that's that. We'll come up with something. Yeah, sure we will. All right. See you tomorrow. again one more time ah. so i tell sandy that i want to have a menage a trois with her and her roommate that's right and you believe this course of action will have a two-pronged effect firstly the very mention of the idea will cause sandy to recoil in disgust whereupon she will insist that i remove myself from the premises keep going at this point, it is inevitable that she will seek out the roommate to apprise her of this abhorrent turn of events. Continue. The roommate <laughs> will then offer her friend the requisite sympathy, even as part of her cannot help but feel somewhat flattered by her inclusion in the unusual request. <laughs> a few days go by, and a call is placed at a time when Sandy is known to be busy at work. Once the initial awkwardness is relieved with a little playful humor, which she, of course, cannot resist, an invitation to a friendly dinner is proffered. Huh. Well, it all sounds pretty good. There's only one flaw in it. They're roommates. She'd have to go out with me behind Sandy's back. She's not going to do that. You disappoint me, my friend. <laughs> Sandy wants nothing to do with you. She tells Laura, if you want to waste your time with that pervert, that's your problem. It's a perfect plan. <laughs> so inspired, so devious, yet so simple. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> Yellow. What delay industries? No. Vandalay! Say Vandalay! No. Now you're way, way, way off. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the right number, but this is an apartment. Yes. What? Vandalay! Say Vandalay! Yeah, no problem. No problem. I want to be my latex salesman. Listen to this. Marcy comes over and she tells me that her ex-boyfriend was over late last night and yada, 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 I'm really tired today. <laughs> you don't think she'd yada, yada sex? I've yada, yada sex. Really? I met this lawyer, we went out to dinner, I had the lobster bisque, we went back to my place, yada, yada, yada. I never heard from him again. But you yada, yada over the best part. No, I mentioned the bisque. Do you believe this? The car was parked right out front. Was the alarm on? I don't know, I guess it was on. I don't know my alarm sound. I'm not tuned into it like it's my son. <laughs> I don't understand. How do these thieves start the car? How do they cross the wires or something? Cross the wires? I can't even make a pot of spaghetti. <laughs> they stole my car. Who did? They did. What, is it more than just one? <laughs> what should I do? Should I call the police? What are they going to do? <laughs> you know, I better call a car phone company, cancel my service. Maybe you should call your car phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's probably driving it right now. Wait a minute, call, call the car phone, see what happens. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead, call. I don't even know if I remember the number. What do I say if he picks up? 
Hello? Hello? Is this 555-8383? Uh, five, 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 eight, three, eight, three? I have no idea. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Did you steal my car? Yes, I did. You did? I did. But that's my car. I didn't know it was yours. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Drive around. Then can I have it back? Mm, no, I'm going to keep it. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Kramer. Hello, Kramer. Listen, there's a pair of gloves in the glove compartment. Wait, hold it. Brown ones? Yeah. Listen, could you mail those to me? Or bring them by my building. It's 129 West 81st Street. 129, okay. Right, thanks a lot. Hey, here's Jerry. <laughs> gloves. Hello? Jerry? Yeah, let me ask you a question. How do you cross those wires? I didn't cross any wires. The keys were in it. Sid left the keys in the car. All right, I gotta go. Drive carefully. <laughs> Because yeah. I can't find the... <laughs> Nurse retractor. What are you eating? Junior mints. You want one? No. No, I can't see. Could you get, get? <laughs> you. Where'd you get those? The machine? You want one? No. Here, take one. I don't want one. No, they're good. Take I don't want any. Just take one. No, stop it. Kramer, stop it. Don't. off some respirator thing into the patient. What do you mean, into the patient? Into the patient, literally. Into the hole? Yes. The hole. Didn't they notice it? No. How could they not notice it? Because it's a little mint. It's a junior mint. What did they do? They sealed him up with the mint inside. They left the junior mint in him? Yes. Well, I, I guess it can't hurt him. People eat pounds of those things. Yes, they eat them. They don't put them next to vital organs in their abdominal cavity. <laughs> yeah. It's me. Come on up. Hey. This wallpaper is very good. My place looks like a ski lodge. Why'd you force that mint on me? I told you I didn't want the mint. Well, I didn't believe you. How could you not believe me? Well, who's gonna turn down a junior mint? It's chocolate, it's peppermint. It's delicious. That's true. It's very refreshing. Ooh, big, big doll. Thank you, brother. 